We've literally only just got out of Trudy and already it's looking amazing. What is this? Is it a head? Yes, yes. Oh, it's from the goat's head? Medeva! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that, they've just given us an example. This is real local life here. We're Chris and Marianne, and we've been traveling full time for the past three years. We did it! We're currently attempting to drive Trudy, our home on wheels, all the way around the world. Bye! Thank Have you nice so trip. much! Thank you very much! Good Daniel. issues! We'll see you in October! Yes. We'll see you in October! <laughs> okay. We're, at, we're heading into the centre of the city to have a look around Ankara and we're going to share that with you. You! You! So it's only nine o'clock, we got up nice and early and uh, we're hitting the city Sunday before it gets busy and the roads are lovely and quiet at the moment. So we parked up Trudy, we've actually found a, uh, a parking spot, we looked on Google Earth, literally that's the Citadel that you can see behind, but the, uh, the entrance is, is round the corner. And the shop's just opening, wow! Lots of nuts and seeds, it's beautiful, looks good. So I think this looks like the entrance to the castle. So we've literally just walked in, there's this lovely square, little shops selling their bits, beautiful little streets and buildings. These are the, uh, the pots for the Turkish coffee. Look at these little coffee cups. Look at all the detail and the work that's gone into those. Yeah, nice. Çok güzel. <laughs> Very nice. We've literally only just got out of Trudy and already it's looking amazing. I got these uh, lovely little cobbled streets at the bottom of the uh, the castle area here. <laughs> it's a little bit tight to be driving. Oh, look, the floors are lovely. I just love the design of these buildings. I'm just laughing because that house is just the perfect project. And then I love the parking there with the brick with underneath. With the rocks under the, just in case the, under the back goes. wheels. So I think this must be going into the castle here. Exactly. It's cooler. <laughs> we're in the sh we're in the shade. What's around the corner here? Wow! Look at the thickness of these walls. There's a guy waving, saying, "Yeah, it's this way." So we're just following everybody else. So either that, or he's getting us all into his shop. But uh, <laughs> everybody behind's following too. <laughs> just getting our morning exercise for the day. Merhaba. <laughs> Necklaces for sale there. Just a little bit further and we're at the top. Very beautiful. Look how massive these walls are. It's very They're wide. Literally <laughs> two or three. And a bit. And more. Oh we've come into a circular area here. La 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 So have you ever wondered how big Ankara is? This is the place to come for that really good aerial view over the city. Probably the highest part and the best, uh, the best views here. And if you wonder what we do with Trudy when we go out for the day, we leave her down Ah, there. she's there! Look! I didn't realise she was there. So that was a really nice little walk to the top of the castle. It was completely free to get in. And uh, just go get lost in those little shops. It's a lovely uh, little area to walk around. And now we're off to try and find a bazaar. A bazaar? How bazaar? A bazaar. <laughs> a bazaar bazaar. Huh. Look at that, that's a very cool lock, Marianne. That would keep Trudy safe and sound anywhere. There's some uh, lovely antique shops here just down the hill from the castle. Chot Gazelle! <laughs> Good night in! Got a lovely little uh, antique shop here. Look at this little cupboard door. Oh, we can have a do door ringer on Trudy, maybe? 
That's so cool. <laughs> Wow, this is a nice little antique shop. Look at this. I feel like I've entered Aladdin's cave. It looks like Aladdin's cave. Wow. Copperware here. Look at this, the lanterns. Look at the detail on these people. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Past the wedding dress shop. You've got to renew your wedding vows every five ten years really five years every five ten years. years 20, 20 years, years. <laughs> well we've been married 25 and so we've done it once we've done it once yeah exactly anything for a party so we're just coming down the hill and this street uh, it's got lots of shops a nice atmosphere it seems to be the clothes shops and the wedding shops there's lots of uh, glamorous dresses the only thing that concerns me is it's all downhill <laughs> and what goes down must go back up again. Yeah, that's very true. Okay, we've walked down to the bazaar area, which is over here. So uh, let's go and uh, see what it's all about. Oh, lovely olives. Look at those. Pickled, Pickled chilies. Good night, Good night. <laughs> Smells amazing. Got some sijik up there. There's actually whole honeycombs. Yeah, look, whole honeycombs and eggs, pickles and chilies here. Different types of chilies and rice pulses. Wow. And I think that's the entrance to the market over there. Okay. As soon as you walk in, you can smell the spices. Look at this market. This looks amazing, isn't it? Welcome, good night in. <laughs> There's always something magical about walking around a market. You walk, if you walk around a local market, it really gives you a true feel of the city and the culture and uh, the people. You always meet nice characters walking around the market. Hello, what is this? Is a head? Yes, yes. Oh, it's from the goat's head? Very interesting. Good, good. This is the feet? Uh, yes, yes. It's a butcher's shop. Inglaterra, we're from. from nice yeah. to meet you. Thank you very much. All these fruit and veg stands here. Looks beautiful. Cheese shops. And they got the uh, bread for gozlemes and I'm not sure on the uh, the cooked goat's heads, but. Ilka did say when you go in, there will be eyes staring at you and their skulls. Malaba, good night then. Malaba. The vine leaves? Oh, vine leaves, dolma, dolma. Dolma, yeah. Dolma, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Shepita, Kasia, Shaborfim. Nice. 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 Inglaterra. Inglaterra. Yeah, Inglaterra. Merhaba! <laughs> I love it. I just love walking around markets. And then we got the fish. Some freshwater carp there. Merhaba! Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Inglaterra! Oh! Uh, a little bit. <laughs> is it not just so nice walking around these markets and saying hi to people i just love it whatever thank you very much see everybody in turkey is amazingly friendly and uh it's just a magical place are there hazelnuts good, good, good. hazelnuts so this is how they come off the tree oh your teeth oh This is real local life here. We've been walking around for about an hour now and we've been offered breakfast twice. <laughs> twice. Twice. <laughs> so walking around the market and the, uh, the streets around is a really nice taste of local life. And uh, now we're heading to uh, one of the most famous mosques here in Ankara, which is about a 10, 15 minute walk away. It There's a lot like, of pigeons. It smells like Trafalgar Square. 
<laughs> so we've just seen this escalator which we're walking up and there's something i hate walking up escalators that don't work it feels really weird but the uh the mosque should be at the top here so behind me is the Haji Bairam Mosque and it's in fact one of the oldest mosques here in Ankara. It was built back in 1427 and is one of the most significant religious buildings here in Ankara. Next door is the ancient Temple of Augustus. In fact it's the most intact remains from Roman times here in Ankara. It's a first century temple and it was built during the reign of Emperor Augustus. Thank you very much. It's okay. Teshikula. Guru Shirus. How nice is that? The lady just came up and gave us a sweet. Looks like a little humbug. You wouldn't take sweets or strangers back home, would you really? <laughs> <laughs> In here you can't you you cannot say no. Oh. So you can see that they're doing renovation works on the uh, on the mosque there they've got scaffolding on the minaret and uh, here is the remains of the temple it's lovely to see the two buildings next to each other and you can see the uh, the citadel the castle at the top here and we've walked round and down through the bazaar and ended up back here and it's happening again just given sweets is Ankara the kindest city the most generous city or is it everybody's birthday and they're giving it out is this normal <laughs> we met a lovely lady from Sivas who speaks <coughs> wonderful English and whilst we were chatting I asked her why are we getting sweets and it turns out that people come here to make a wish and when their wish is coming true and is granted they give out a thanks everyone's wish is coming true because theirs is and we're getting sweets <laughs> To pray, yes. They come yeah. to pray and when it comes true, Amazing. we get a gift. How wonderful is that? Thank you. Thank you. There's a lovely little park right next to the mosque here. There are rose gardens. And because of the sun, the intense heat, the perfume wafting up is so beautiful and there's lovely shaded areas under the trees which is lovely because as I said the heat is a little bit intense checking the weather this week it's going to go up to 37 degrees this week and dropping down to only 22 at night that's another reason that we're going to be heading up uh, towards Trabzon the Black Sea area and going up into Georgia and the area around the mosque has got uh, these wonderful looking sort of Ottoman style uh, buildings which look like they're newly renovated and been turned into cafes and restaurants and uh, little sh gift shops it's a really nice little area to come and have a little walk around there are a couple of jobs that I would not want to do and that is one of them working <laughs> way up high on a very hot sunny day uh, fitting a roof all the way around town as well you've got these lovely renovated buildings and then these massive city walls Look at how wide they would have been as a defensive wall. So behind me is a famous statue here in Ankara of Ataturk on his horse with a couple of guards at the front. Unfortunately, it's under renovation at the moment, so you can't actually see it. We've walked a few minutes from the Ataturk statue and uh, we've arrived at this very special building. This is officially the first parliament building of Turkey. Right there, here in Ankara. It is the capital of Turkey after all. And this is where Ataturk would have declared that it is the Republic of Turkey. So now we've got the long walk back to the castle uphill but Marianne's like I'm not walking let's get a bus so we'll see how that goes what do you reckon you're just going to ask a random bus does it go to the castle of course I'm going to ask a random bus it's the <laughs> only way to do it <laughs> best to walk five minutes ten minutes okay you can't get a bus Marianne <laughs> up there 
<laughs> they should go there. It didn't work. There's no buses to the castle. You're going to have to walk up the hill. Why are there no buses? Because it's a five, ten minute walk this way. Anchor Municipality, it's uphill. Get a bus. <laughs> Chris and I have talked about doing a bus conversion one day. And I've decided one of these little Turkish dolmush would be perfect. Um, look at that for a bus. Don't tell Trudy. Well, look how perfect that would be. We've arrived at the Museum of Anatolian Civilizations here in Ankara. And in fact, this museum is the most popular museum in Ankara. So let's go and check it out. So entrance into the museum is actually free. It's included as part of uh, our museum card. But if you don't have a museum card, it's 60 TL to enter or 80 TL if you want an audio guide. I just love the little courtyard here as you come in. And uh, that is a seriously big bowl. What would that be used for? Bathtub? Swimming pool? I don't know, it's, it could be. Look at the size of that. That's a seriously big flower pot. Yeah. <laughs> It's fun looking at all the displays, looking at all the different ages. It reminds me of when I was at school and we did projects on the Bronze Ages and all the different civilizations. It's incredibly mind blowing to see all the artifacts. But just behind me is a bathtub style sarcophagus. Mind blowing. They've literally got thousands and thousands of artifacts from the Anatolian region dating back through all the different time periods. It's fascinating to see what they've got here. Literally, you just walk around, you can immerse yourself, just enjoy it. There's a reason that it's so popular. We've come outside now and they've got these lovely gardens with uh, lots of artifacts dotted around the gardens. Mom. I can't read it. <laughs> Look at the size of these pots. Look at those. With the pine trees and the uh, shaded areas. It's just a lovely, it's a lovely spot and a lovely building. Look at all the details as well in here. These are just incredible. It's hard on a 15 to 20 minute video to show you all the beautiful things within a museum. It's impossible. Um, but if you come to Ankara, I would definitely come here. It's incredible through the ages. So much stuff to see. So we've come back up to the, uh, the castle area. We're going to find a little bit of a spot for lunch. Ah, beautiful nuts. <laughs> Maraba. Oh, it's got the nice fire. Oh, look at that, they've just given us an example. How is that? That's beautiful. Huh. Mm. I haven't seen it cooked like this horizontally over the fire, but the place is amazing. If you come here, you should definitely have lunch. It's delicious. Are we going upstairs? Let's have a look. I didn't know there was an upstairs. <laughs> By the way, go Team GB. We've seen the Olympic stuff. <laughs> so what's quite funny, we came in, they bought the, uh, the starters of uh, Esme and onions and some salad. And we sat here, we're looking at the, uh, the waiter going, do we get menu? Do we get a menu? York menu, no menu. So basically what happens if you come in, they automatically serve you some kebabs. Um, and he's like, I've ordered them already. So we'll see what comes. And we asked for drinks and we've had this a few times. If you like cream soda, it's very similar. It's nice. It's very nice. Ooh, Teshi Kula. Thank you very much. So we got a meat kebab. <laughs> Cooked on the fire, make a little wrap. Real barbecuey taste. 
That's good, isn't it? That's really good. Mmm. Little moist chunks of lamb. Absolutely delicious. Right, time to eat. Okay, we're back. Update. Update. <laughs> they keep bringing them because they just gave us another one. <laughs> So it looks like right. you just keep eating until you're full, maybe. You just stay. Just stay until you can't move anymore. So that was a delicious lunch. And uh, the streets around the, uh, the castle here. More little cobbled roads. Lovely little buildings. It's just got a lovely feel, isn't it? I really like it up here. The old town of any, of any city, as we say, is always the best place to go. Another antique shop. They got some really cool little antique shops going around. The Ottoman style buildings there. Wow, look at this. Look at the old building there. Perambulators. Look at that. That's very cool. There's a lovely little streets down there, little places to have some tea. I think I'm showing my age by using the word perambulator. Okay, I feel like I've gone back in time. We've got old records, some reels, look, for the tapes, the old movies. It's actually a record shop. Look at this. When was the last time you saw a vinyl record shop? In fact, when we sold everything in our house, we sold all our belongings. We had a <laughs> box of tapes, didn't we? And a box yeah. of records. And we couldn't sell them. <laughs> couldn't sell them. And here, look, they've got all the old school record players. Beautiful. Just seen this other little alleyway down here. Look at that door. That's so cool. How amazing is that door? It's very cool. So our next stop is the Rami Koj Museum. It was built in 2005 by the Koj family. They're one of the wealthiest families here in Turkey. The museum apparently houses over 4,000 artifacts uh, showing Turkey's rich history. So we're gonna go in and have a little look at and see what it's all about. And there's a collection of transport vehicles. So I'm hoping that Trudy, like older cousin Mike. <laughs> you never know. So entry is 30 TL per person. Let's go and have a look. Wow, just walking in. Look at the size of that door. It is. It's an MGTD. Marianne's dad actually used to have one of these years ago. Many years ago. My dad's 90. Happy birthday, dad. <laughs> I found Trudy's cousin. She's a Fiat Ducato. And this is her pretty cousin. The museum's got all these different little sections and this one's dedicated to music. They've got all the old radios and record players, piano, some instruments. It's a very cool place if you like a little bit of nostalgia. Retro! They got a model train here. Coming through this section, there is more trains. There is literally cabinet after cabinet of small trains, big trains. I literally feel like we're kids again. And we've got to play with like, you know, parts and <laughs> Don't record, touch them, Marianne. Record players, <laughs> tapes, now trains. It's a real flashback to my childhood. All the way down the corridor here, they've got these old pictures of the past. And this is real historic Turkey. This is the rug makers, and that would have been the pattern that they followed. There's a little bit of a maze. We've come across a staircase now. I think pretty sure we can go down here. Let's so let's do that. let's do it. There's another building. It's crazy. Look at the size of these shoes. I think this is actually not just a museum. It's like a place of curiosity. They've even got an old engine and a pilot in an old uniform. VHR, this is how big the, the, the video recorders used to be. Young guys now that have PlayStation, whatever number you're on, this is the old original. <laughs> this is the old, uh, in the 80s, we, we used to have like Ataris with Pac-Man and ET games here. Look at that, such a blast from the past. Wow. 
The old Sinclair Spectrum there, look at that. Of them. And that was the old screens. They've even got a replica machine gun that was used in an old movie in this room, which is a cinema room with lots of old movie memorabilia and TVs and Come on, look at this. like. <laughs> when we were growing up, kids, we used to have TVs like that. It was like you could kill someone with it. You could throw That's it. That's what it looked out. And to all those people with GoPros, look at the size of these. <laughs> So Marianne's dad used to have a printing shop. And there's a really old printing press, similar to the one your dad had in his factory. So I have to say, out of all the museums we've been to, as far as fun, coolness, and just a blast from the past, that is a must. We absolutely loved walking around there. Yeah, we sort of banked in for about half an hour, maybe. <laughs> and I think we spent about an hour and a half. It was just yeah. the best. It's amazing. End of a beautiful day. Back yeah. to Trudy. We've arrived at the Anatolian Museum of no Civilization. What? They've literally got thousands and thousands of art attacks from um, art attacks. Oh, oh! And then you do that, huh? Yes. In fact, this is the most popular museum in the whole of Ankara. Uh,